Uh, she wants to see Devil's Acre. Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. Use tools to distract the reporters. What tools? That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Now, see, the first time I went to the paper grill, it didn't give me an option to speak, so I wasn't sure what to do. Neatly done, young man. Dizzy ought to keep you on to deal with them. Fine, girl. Let's go. Easy. 
Easy does it. That's the way. Slow down. That's a girl. Mr. Fry, let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. This gentleman is a... Oh, what was it? Yes. A costomonger. Of all things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Someone, please. Shall we go? Amanda is just walking over a dead body. Damn, we're going all the way around. What sort 
What meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one. So, this is a pint, is it? <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> Nice doggy. Do I even need to... <clears throat> I mean, it's just gonna do it itself. Good boy, Desmond. Hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. told your father how you felt about him how was he supposed to know i never thought of it that way i suppose deep down we all just want to be loved just so mm. here have a sweetie oh desmond and mr fry i'd like you to meet oh i'm sorry i didn't catch your name john the tosser charmed i think we better get you home Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Who's a good horse? You are. and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. But no, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens, campaigning against the Colbert Practices Bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government could ill afford another scan. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Uh, thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Alright, so I guess I gotta do two of Eevee's before I can carry on with his. <laughs> 